So he told Bruce Lee told me that. So I said, Bruce, that's okay. No problem. For me. Anyway, I, I left for three days uh, to Hong Kong Island, stay with my friend at the University of Hong Kong for three days and uh, disappear. Raymond Chow tried to call. I don't know why Raymond Chow tried to call my auntie house to look for me. And then Bruce Lee called a few times, couldn't find me. Both of them couldn't find me, wondering where I went. So, so on the fourth day, I went back, 20, 29 or 30, I went back, April 1973, I went back to Cape Day film studio in the in the afternoon, two or three o'clock in the afternoon, and Raymond Chow saw me and uh, he said, where did you go? I've been trying to call you many times. Actually, he called me a few times, not that many times. And he, he, he said, you can fight with Bruce Lee on the opening scene for Enter the Dragon. Then I turned around and said, no, Mr. Chow, I'm not interested. And he got a shock. Then he, he, he got his face showed that he was angry and he called Bruce Lee and 45 minutes later Bruce Lee turned up and then Bruce Lee was pretending to be angry with me and then called me aside and told me uh, you heard what he said ask, ask, ask you that you do the fight scene with me but, but the problem is that he already done it with a fat selling monk three days earlier and uh, he was not pleased he was not happy because he was first he was fat secondly he was clumsy yeah and then Thirdly, he was always telling Bruce Lee how to fight. So Bruce Lee was not keen. But Raymond Chow told Bruce Lee to do the fight scene anyway because he said, uh, uh, compare the two of them, see which one is better and, 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 uh, and use the one that is good. And Bruce Lee already knew that if he, do the, if he did a fighting scene with me, of course it would be better he, because I knew all the fighting sequence. Yeah, the eight minute fighting sequence. I, I, knew, I knew all about it. How to fight, how to how to kick and how to punch and how to fall down just for blue sleep. And uh, I talked to Ray, uh, this guy, uh, Roy Chow. He also said the same same thing about the fat selling monk. He he was he was concerned about it. He said it, it, it might not work, you know. So so why didn't I fight with Bruce Lee? I said to uh, Roy Chow that uh, that the uh, Raymond Chow doesn't want me because was, I was not on contract. I was not on contract to his company, Golden Harvest. So I said, anyway, that's not important. I'm not interested anyway. And then Bruce Lee wanted to take revenge. He 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 is quite a revengeful chap, you know. Bruce Lee he he uh, thinking how to take revenge against Raymond Chow for refusing me to work on uh, opening scene of Enter the Dragon. So he came up with an with a idea which which he came up by himself uh, uh, he, he talked very loud and clear that everybody can hear that he was going to do a sequel to enter the dragon with joey chen the fight scene will be the opening scene with joey yeah just like enter the dragon go g-o-l-d game of little dragon I got a title with me, I got a story with me, inspired by Bruce Lee and uh, King Hu, Khan Academy Award winner for A Touch of Zen. And now, now it's written by me, it's with me, it's still with me. I'm working on it and I'm going to, 45, 46 years later, it's still with me. I'm working on it, uh, sequel to Enter the Dragon, Game of Little Dragon. So Bruce Lee talked about it very loud. Warner Brothers stuff heard about it and what Raymond Chow heard about it. And he was excited. He wanted to get Bruce Lee to sign a new fresh agreement for a sequel to Enter the Dragon. So he he was a very cunning guy, this guy uh, Raymond Chow, he was uh, very tricky, very cunning and Bruce Lee knew that his Raymond Chow was up to something so he came to uh, Bruce Lee and said, why don't you get uh, Joy to do the fight scene with you and compare, see, see which one is better and then, 
and then uh, whichever one is better, you you say, you know. And Bruce Lee said no because he was too tired. He said he was tired and he had to go and look for the the cameraman. And uh, truly, Bruce Lee was tired. I told him, say, Bruce, you are uh, you are too tired. You're exhausted, and then you got you got some injury here and there. You know, sorry to say that. Yeah, and then uh, uh, I think maybe forget about it. But you just say pretend to to uh, look for cameraman from uh, Warner Brother, but they all gone back to United States and look for Japanese cameraman. They also gone back to Japan, and uh, Bruce Lee doesn't want to hire any Hong Kong cameraman. He he doesn't he doesn't think they are reliable cameraman. Yeah. And then so he uh, he told uh Remy Chow, forget it, man. he's too tired, he doesn't want to continue anymore. He said he said forget it to Remy Chow. Then Remy Chow said, Well, that's up to you. Don't say that I, I didn't disagree that that Joey Chen fight fight the fight with you, the opening scene. But actually, right from the beginning, he, is, he already said no. Now, now he turned around to say yes, because he wanted to get Bruce Lee to sign the sequel to Enter the Dragon, Game of Little Dragon, a new new contract, when Bruce Lee does not want to sign any, Bruce Lee did not want to sign any, any more contract with uh, Raymond Chow, Golden Harvest. He wanted to antagonize Raymond Chow. He wanted to make him, Bruce Lee wanted to make him angry, wanted to piss him off. So Bruce Lee went to see Run Run Shaw, Shaw Brother, rival film production company with Golden Harvest. Of all the film company in the world, Run Run Shaw. And Bruce Lee went to see Run Shaw brother, Run Run Shaw, for a different reason actually, to ask Run Run Shaw to help him arrange for a meeting with Lee Kuan Yew, Prime Minister of Singapore, to be. He wants to come to Singapore and, uh, or rather, go to Singapore to, uh, to be. To appreciate what Singapore has done for him, when Big Boss was shown in Singapore, it was a, a big success. Bruce Lee became world famous, partly because of that. Shown in Singapore, it was made Bruce Lee super superstar in Asia, in Malaysia, in Singapore, in Thailand, all over the world. So he appreciate that it started from Singapore. So he want to go to Singapore and uh, and appreciate what what uh, Prime Minister of Singapore Lee Kuan Yew has done for him in a certain way. And also, Bruce Lee knew that Nan Nan Shaw was close to uh, a close friend of. Lee Kuan Yew. In fact, Run Run Shaw children are all Singaporean. They live in Singapore, they work in Singapore, they do business in Singapore, they are Singaporean. Singapore citizen. And uh, Run Run Shaw's older brother, Rami Shaw, was also a Singaporean. So news went out very quick. Somebody in Shaw Brother told Raymond Chow that Bruce Lee was going to switch company from Golden Harvest to Shaw Brother and that made Raymond Chow very very angry. He was not just pissed off, he was angry, he was burning like crazy, he went nuts. He wanted to kill Bruce Lee. 